What's going on YouTube? I want to do a review of this Mastercraft $230 welder that you can get at any Canadian tire. Now, I picked this up recently and I'm, I'm no welder. I'm a mechanic and a pipe fitter by trade. And I just do the hobbyist welding stuff. For the longest time I was relying on my Lincoln 140. This is like 800 something dollars just for the unit. I'm running 035 wire and Blue Shield 8, which is 75 argon, 25 CO2. And uh, picking this up, I was like, you know what, let's just try it out. And uh, here's some of the welds. Right now I'm on electro positive and, uh, you know, <laughs> porosity at the start on a lot of uh, the welds. But, uh, you know, here's the wire feeder and then here's some two recent passes with the 7018. 332 now with a 332 7018 like 70 75 amps is what you would start with at a minimum but this is the most heat it can pump out and for what it is is actually pretty phenomenal i'm very impressed with it now here's a pass i did a couple days ago porosity at the start sped up a little too much here but slowed down got a nice consistent bead here and uh, this is what my pressure welder did and she's been welding for eight years, six years, eight years, around there. Porosity at the start, but as you can see here, it is very consistent and very nice. Now, she says porosity at the start because it doesn't get hot enough at the start, and it's only max output is 75 amps of heat. So with this, you can run, um, it's AC, DC, positive, and negative. And for what I've needed it to do, it's done everything perfectly. Now, that's $230. This is $800. I can't really compare the two because it's apples to oranges. But my experiences with welders, Precision TIG 275, some other Lincoln 300 series, I think a 500. And then Miller's XMT Field Pro 350s, uh, Smart Reach or Arc Smart Reach, I think is what it's called, the generator welder, and the TIG stick inline uh, boxes and the remotes. This, you can definitely make it look like 100, I mean, look, this is $100 an hour, this is half of that. <laughs> She's a pressure welder, I'm just a fitter, and the fact that I can pump out something like that, um, and right here, right, it's pretty good stuff besides the porosity grind it out and do your uh, redo your starts or just continue a bead from here on out all right if you want a cheap welder that'll do any of your farm work whether that's bumpers fence posts stuff like that and you're not going to be running an eighth three or 532 rods then just just pick up a mastercraft 230 bucks can't go wrong it comes with a carrying strap actually right here carrying strap and then this is a manual like that's, that's all you get in the box is the stinger and the ground and this little guy here and it works freaking great i'll run a pass for you guys so you guys can see how it actually runs all right, you guys are going to be sideways for a bit <clears throat> all right now i'm not the best welder because i'm not even a welder at all I just do it as a hobby. So we'll go for a little bead right here. fast for that and then we'll quickly run the bead with my Lincoln
All right, so this is what I just pulled with a Lincoln. Let's see if I can get a better focus. There you go. So right here, that's what I did with the Lincoln. Thought it was really hot. I'm not gonna do that again. And then let's just chip away the slag on the 7018. That's what I did there. Yeah, I sped up right here because I was shaking. But uh, you can see right there, it's not bad. Not bad at all. And we'll go back to the wire feed. Very nice. Now with here versus my welds, right? This is tons of experience. This is barely any experience. Now I was running this in electro positive, 70 amps. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this. So if you guys are out there and you're wondering, oh, should I spend, you know, five, 600 bucks on a really crappy, you know, whatever. Well, maybe not crappy, but if you're thinking about budget, right? I spent $800 on this, spent 230 bucks on that, this little guy. And I'm pretty impressed. And I asked my welder and she said, yeah, she's impressed with that. And she actually might get one for around the house and whatever, because she lives on an acreage. So she enjoys welding with this. She's impressed with it. And I'd say, you know what? If it's pressure welder approved, then anyone can go out and buy this and be very happy with what they have purchased. Yeah, that's my uh, little review of the Mastercraft 75 amp stick welder.